everybody, welcome back to First Down Fridays. I'm Brooke Leonard here with guard for the Virginia Tech Hokies, Augie Conte. Augie, thank you for being here. It's nice to be here. Not even a full year after Coach Fuente got hired, you guys, your class got your first ACC championship berth. What has Coach Fuente brought to the table for Hokie football that kind of changed and developed this season? Well, I mean, it was definitely a really fun experience going down to Orlando. Obviously, uh, we wish the result could have been a little bit different. But uh, it was definitely a cool experience. It was good to, it felt good uh, being here for five years and finally getting our shot to play in the ACC championship. Uh, obviously, it came up a little bit short. But uh, I think one thing that Coach Fuente has brought to the program is he's kind of brought uh, a little bit of a younger, uh, newer energy to the team. Just, I mean, there's nothing wrong with Coach Beamers. But uh, I mean, it was just, Coach Fuente just brought something a little bit different. Um, he brought kind of like the, the, the younger energy of the team, I think a lot of more a lot of the players can relate to him a little bit better just because he's a little bit younger. But uh, I mean, he I mean he's changed the program like like you wouldn't believe. I mean the stuff that he's that we've done over the over the off season we never even would have imagined that we could have done uh, when. Uh, before he got here, but I mean it's been a long process and it's, it's starting to pay off. Yeah, for sure I mean Fuente has definitely brought a lot of things to the table Especially in tradition you guys at the end of the games you go and do tech triumph with the band You guys hold up the four for the fourth quarter I feel like there's so many things that are bringing the team together, which is great and obviously it's paying off Especially with the ACC championship. What kind of things are you guys reflecting on against Clemson to prepare yourself for the bowl game against Arkansas? Uh, I think one thing that we need to do more is just we need to execute a little bit better. Uh, there were some times during the game where uh, we couldn't get off the field, we couldn't get a first down, but there were other times in the game where everything was clicking, everything was going our way. So I think one of the biggest things we need to do is just be more consistent when it comes to execution. Um, I, th I know personally, just being in the position group, we need a position group, we need to execute a little bit better up front. So I think that's one of the biggest things we need to take away from the Clemson game is just execution and being more consistent. So our bowl game is in Charlotte against Arkansas, a good SEC team. They've had their fair share of wins against TCU, Ole Miss, and Florida. Bowl games are always so fun. I feel like this is probably extremely ignorant of me to say, but I feel like there's so much less pressure compared to like regular season because they are. it's such a fun time. But obviously not for you guys. <laughs> Still a lot of pressure. Got to get 10 wins this season. That's what you guys are striving for, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the difference between having uh, nine and 10 wins in the win column is, uh, is, a, is a huge difference. I mean, there's not a lot of people that can say they've been a part of a 10 win season. So to have that will be will be a lot of fun. But um, yeah, I mean, it'll, it, I mean, I wouldn't say that there's less pressure on a bowl game, but uh, it's, it's, it's just different just because like most of the time who you're playing, you've never really played against before. So there's no, there's no prior emotions to, uh, to who you're playing. Just so you don't, uh, it's not like against UVA, like you, you obviously know we're gonna hate the guys yeah. from UVA, but when you're playing bowl games, uh, it's just a little bit different because you haven't you haven't played right. it before. So I mean, it's just, it's not that there's no pressure, but it's it's just different. But uh, bowl season is definitely a lot of fun. I, I enjoy it. It's one of the most fun times of the year. Yeah, I agree. And and like I said, it is in Charlotte. How's it going to feel to be able to be so close to Virginia Tech? Have so many Hokies travel for your last game? Oh man, it'll, I mean, it'll be uh, it'll be a really fun experience. Um, being that close to home, it'll it'll probably be like a home game to be honest. I'm sure uh, Hokie Nation will be well represented there, but um, yeah, I mean it'll be special uh, just having all the fans there. It'll be my last it'll be my last college game, so having Hokie Nation there behind us will definitely help a lot. Yeah, for sure. Okay, and finally the last question, totally off the grid. It kind of has something to do with football, but if you could do anything in your final game, like switch positions or score a touchdown or intercept the ball, anything like that, what would you do? I mean, to be honest, I mean, there probably aren't a whole lot of people that would understand where I'm coming from, but I probably wouldn't switch uh, playing positions. I enjoy playing offensive line. I mean, the camaraderie on the offensive line is unlike anywhere else on the field, just because there's so much, there's so much, uh, there's so much teamwork that has to go on in order for an offensive line to function really well. I mean, I mean, I, I love the guys that I play with, so I probably wouldn't switch positions. I would probably stay right where I am. Well, how gracious of you to say that. <laughs> so I'm going to, you're obviously your team is going to see this and they are going to appreciate you so much more for saying that. Totally unselfish of you. But thank you again for being here, Augie. Hokie Nation, we will see you on December 29th in Charlotte at the Buck Bowl. Thank you. Go Hokies.